Hello, this is Peter with Geek on My Sleeve here to ask you if you use a webcam. A lot of people are staying home as of late and uh, utilizing their webcams. So if you use your webcam, you too can be whoever you want to be or do whatever you want to do. That's what uh, today's video is going to be about, showing you how to get different lenses for any camera that you decide to use. Here we go. So the product is called Snap Camera. We'll have a link in the description below. So Snap Camera, you're going to search it, the very first one, and then you're going to go to Download. Download it for whatever operating system you end up using. And then, after you get it downloaded, you are going to have this here. And essentially, if you want a filter, so we'll just be a potato for a little while, you'll click that, and now you are a potato. Now this is just a preview window, this isn't actually going anywhere you will have to go into your application. Uh, for example, if you're utilizing, have it up here. If you're utilizing Skype, I literally just went into settings. I went into audio video settings. For camera, you'll go to snap cam. So you'll have to make sure that your application is open um, and in the background, and you're just going to open up snap cam. So there are a lot inside of here that you can utilize. Um, there's a lot that I've already set up for my hotkeys. Um, for me, there's several that I've saved for favorites, as you can see. And essentially how you get those is option one, the easiest way to do it is going to be just to click on one of them down here. You know, if you want to wear chain hair stuff, which this one's kind of fun because it's a little interactive for moving, you would just click it. You can apply it wherever your camera is being captured. That's how you do it. If you want to save it for favorites, there's a little star on it. You click it and it will turn yellow, of which then it will be a favorites. Your star up in the top corner of your Snap Camera application, you'll be able to see your favorites. As you can tell, I have uh, quite a few. And some of them, they're not all created equal. Some of them work better than others. And essentially, it's a AR or augment reality that attaches to your face. I have heard of issues with people who wear glasses and the glasses interfering with your, you know, the shape of your face because it's trying to see your eyes, but it's getting caught on your glasses. Um, so that can be a problem. If you then you find one here and you want to use it for other social media or you want to use it for Snapchat, you literally take your phone and you see this little code here. If you know how to use Snapchat, you just take a picture of this code or of whatever code is here and you can utilize that on your Snapchat. But if you just want to use it for your webcam, switch back over here, or when you do your school, do your, you know, different, uh, trying to get the face or the eyes to pop. Oh, that was weird. It was one than the other. Anyway, if you're trying to do anything with a webcam, you just need to capture the snap cam. And yeah, you can, uh, once you find them and utilize them, you can be whatever. Uh, for example, this one is just on the face. That's all it does. And then we got this guy here, you know, Dwarf. Uh, it's a little more interaction or interactive for like moving and mob mobile, mobile with moving. And then you got this one, which when you raise your eyebrows, your mustache rolls out. So it's interactive off your eyebrows. And same thing with this one. When your spidey sense is tingling, you raise your eyebrows and you get your little action cue for that. There's a lot of fun to be had with it. Um, we're going to be utilizing them. Oh, turn that off. 
we're going to be utilizing it more for some of our other ones because it really embraces our concept of wearing your geek on your sleeve. And now if I want to, I can literally, scrolling, I don't have this one bound. I can, you know, oh, a little pause there. I can literally be wearing my, uh, you know, for the Alliance armor as we're doing a recording or for the Horde. I haven't found another one. The only one I can find is the uh, Dark Elf, which is pretty cool. But there are a lot of other ones, and you just have to spend the time to look around and be Captain Teemo. And if you blah, 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 spend the time to look around, be Pickle Rick, have your giant googly eyes, more motion ones. Oh, what else did I have bound here? Oh, this one's interactive, but it's with your mouth. So, you know, you've got eyebrow ones, you've got mouth ones, you've got other different interactive ones. I guess I kind of jumped around here. I was trying to get the bigger camera because for some reason when you make a uh, snap cam full screen, it doesn't increase your camera. So, okay, you've downloaded snap cam. You're looking through here, you know, for whatever you like, whatever you're doing, and you find, oh, that's pretty cool. You find something you like, uh, if you want to utilize it in Snapcam, all you have to do is hit the favorite button. It will be in your favorites, which then you can toggle between. If you want to utilize it on your phone, you will have whichever one active, and there will be the snap code over here. You will just snap that with your phone. Uh, most of them typically have like a 48 hour window that you can utilize it for, but you can always resnap it. So. Um, you can share it with everyone so that your friends can utilize it as well. Uh, the big thing, this is the correct one I'm thinking of. Do it. You know, we see a lot of uh, distort faces. Everyone likes like a smushed or like a blown up face. And then also, something I failed to mention earlier, when you're on when you look at your snap cam and you have it up and you first swap to it it gives you a little cue like this is the spider-man one and it gave me a cue raise eyebrows to make it interact and um, this is a cowboy one you raise your eyebrows your mustache unrolls so they've all got very self-evident explained cues for them there's one more thing you'll probably want to do for example, like this emoji head, it says tap or use hotkey. So if you're on your phone, you scan this QR code, you'll be able to tap on the screen. But I've set up a, uh, I went to settings and I've set up a lens trigger effect. Now for these, they've got to be kind of like a dual button where you hit shift something, alt something, control, whatever. And so if I click that, I can, oh, whoops. If I click it, I can have it cycle through or do the action. Um, so yeah, several that are interactive based off your facial movements, several that are interactive based off of a button. Uh, if this was on my phone, I would have to click to cycle it. Um, yeah, so just a lot of amazing stuff. Uh, I'm just now getting to it, just now figuring it out. So that's option one for getting them um, from SnapCam. Now, option two, uh, if you're in SnapCam and you like a specific one through here, like for example, you know, I found this one and I like it, I'll click buy whoever, and then that will bring us to our web page and I'll be able to see additional ones that that individual has done. And you know, same thing, you can take your phone and you can snap it here. So if you're still trying to do it on your computer and you've now found, you know, whichever one you want to do, say I want to do this demon mask thing, you'll hit the little up arrow, click to copy lens URL. So I'll click it and it will give me a thing saying that I've copied it. I will go back to my snap camera and in the search option, you'll just paste and then now Demon Mask 
is something that I can do. So two ways to do it. You've already downloaded Snap, click Lens Studio, and then you'll go to Creators, and that will be Creators and a bunch of different filters or lenses that they've created. Thank you for watching this video. This is the start of a new playlist for us. We want to do more back-end videos for how we're getting stuff set up, what we're utilizing, our troubleshooting tactics, and we would like to hear from you guys, the community. If you utilize this, go ahead and let us know. Uh, we showed you how to copy the URL code. Just throw the URL code for which one you like, which one you're utilizing, things you think we should do. If you're streaming live and you're utilizing this, Go ahead and just throw a link to that below on a comment. Uh, reach out to us on our various social media platforms and let us know which ones you're utilizing. Show us that you are doing it, that you got some value out of this video so that I can justify doing more. Thanks again and bye.